Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to go ahead and do a quick little unboxing of this lovely package that I got from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It was my first ever order uh, from their online store directly. Now I know I have received one of their products before, but that was a Christmas gift um, that was given to me. And this was my first ever, I went out there and purchased it myself. Now, um, in the packaging, we do have a bit of tissue paper. So it's like the top is just an empty pink tissue. That's really cute though, because it's all themed. And then we have um, a Jeffree Star uh, tissue paper print. It's really cute. It's all in uh, the multicolors. So let's go ahead and open this and, oh crap. Well, I just tore it I'm trying to get the sticker off. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oops, a doodle. I store that okay good times uh, well let's just slide it off then so the palette itself that I ordered is actually a lipstick kit it is it does come completely bubble wrapped and covered again keeping with the pink theme it's very very cute and I actually did purchase this palette it's from my understanding it's been on the market for a while um, but I never ordered it I just finances if we're being brutally honest <laughs> um, but I am glad I have it now it is the equality palette from the Jeffree Star cosmetics so I'm really excited and I have to do a side note in order to do this video I had to wear some of the alien palette because I figured we'll do a Jeffree Star face <laughs> so um, I was excited I got to play with those shades a bit um, I used some new brushes that I had opened before in another video. The brushes themselves were still really stiff. I don't really like the way they covered, but Jeffree Star Cosmetics Eyeshadow Alien Palette is beautiful. The pigment, the swatches, absolutely gorgeous. So I couldn't wait to get my hands on some liquid lipsticks. Now again, it is a little mini bundle set, but I absolutely love bright colors. They seriously make my day. Oh my gosh, I get so excited for it. And if you look on the inside, it also is consistent with the, um, the design on the inside of the lid as well. It's a really heavy box too, it's, that's nice. I like it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a random one. It looks like my eyes are green today. So let's go ahead and go with the green mini lipstick and this is the color equality right yes equality so let's go ahead and swatch it Ooh, look at that Ooh, that is gorgeous okay so one thing i do like um even the little minis they do have some weight to them so i really like the packaging again it has the pink top and the thing i really like about it and I know it's tiny, but it's just a little detail that I absolutely love is the um, clear, I guess you would call it a tube right here. Um, so you can see there is some product on it, but a lot of times they're white, they're cheap, they're plastic, they bend. I like the clear ones. I think it's a really cool little feature. I like to be able to see through it to see how opaque is this color? How thick is this color that we're talking about? How translucent, how see-through is this color we're talking about? How pigmented is this color we're talking about. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's just go ahead and do a cute little swatch here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, like butter. Ooh, like butter. I love it. Look at that. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Mm, I'm so excited. Green is my favorite color. Don't let this pink fool you. Don't let the blonde fool you. No, no, no. Green is my absolutely go time favorite. I love, I'm a sucker for green. Oh, you put out green anything? That thing is mine. Let's give it a second to dry. I do see it is still wet on the edges. So let's go ahead and move on. And that was again, just one of the random colors I selected based on the color of my eyeshadow today. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors in this little mini bundle pack. Um, I did pick this up directly online from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics website. I did not pick it up from any um, third-party sellers. So I was really glad that I was able to snag it uh, while it was restocked. Now, another one that I've seen used all over Instagram is this light blue one called Breakfast at Tiffany's. 
I am curious to see what this looks like swatched as well. Ooh, this one went on really smooth, pretty matte. Look at that, look at that vibrancy. Just how can you go wrong with a bold lip ever? Ugh, I don't, don't tell me there because I know there's fails everywhere, but <sighs> makes my heart so happy. Ooh, 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 I am so excited to try Red Rum. I also love a good red lipstick. Um, they're hard to find though. I find a lot of them smudge, things of that nature. They're not as pigmented, maybe they're not as bright. They dry funny, they get kind of flaky if you're going with you know, certain alternative, cheaper brands. Um, but that is a beautiful, beautiful red. Like you put that on, girl, you know, you know what's gonna happen when you put on some red lipstick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pause the video. Um, <clears throat> actually, you know what, no, not yet. Okay, let's just go down the line and let's select, let's just swatch them all first and then I'll go ahead and apply my actual green lips and I also do wanna do some green eyebrows with it as well and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down the line. Now I have swatched a few of these already, but let's go ahead and start with number one, which is Diva. It's a cute little pink. It looks like there's some shimmer in there if I'm not mistaken, but let's check it out. Okay, let's put it right next to the red here. Look at that. These are so soft. It honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything. Like, you know when you get a really heavy makeup and it feels like it's caked onto your face? This doesn't feel like that at all. It honestly feels like I'm not wearing anything here. And um, I didn't swatch that very cleanly. It looks like it's double lined. Um, whoops, that's my bad. I do see a bit of shimmer in there, but it's not overwhelming. It is still pretty matte. So I also like that as well. It's a nice vibrancy. The next color in line is again the Red Rome, which I've already swatched here next to the pink. So next we're going third in line, which is this gorgeous orange color called Flamethrower. Go ahead and take a look at this. Now some of you may have already seen these swatches. Some of you have already seen videos online reviewing this product. Again, this is my first review of it. So I was just really excited to get my hands on it. And I can already tell you, I'm gonna be so in love. Look at that color. Oh, so gorgeous. So beautiful. This one is, looks like it is completely matte. Um, there doesn't seem to be any shimmer in this one, at least not that I'm seeing in this light. <clears throat> Thanks to my gorgeous new ring light. Yay. But those are the colors. So pretty. I honestly can't wait to create a look with that orange where it would be appropriate. Um, I haven't really played with oranges before, not so much in the past, but I am excited to create looks with them and sort of expand my horizons with these new colors, um, such as this yellow called Queen Bee. I love highly pigmented color and I have a hard time finding anything that stays as vibrant as it appears in the packaging. And so far, whether it's the eyeshadows or the lipstick, I mean, Jeffree Star Cosmetics has honestly hit it on the nose. What you are seeing is exactly what you are getting, and it is worth every penny. Now, me coming from my past and my background, um, <clears throat> you know, having a, I do have a growing family, so sometimes you know, I mean, they're always gonna come first. So I didn't always have the free finances to buy the latest and greatest, which is why sometimes I do have to wait for things. But when I do have that extra time and money that I can spend on myself, it's nice to know that I am getting the quality product. And this is absolutely it. Look at that yellow. Do you see that? That is gorgeous. And see what I mean? Exactly like the bottle. Oh, there is no difference. There is no loss there whatsoever. So next up in line, so we've gone all the way up to here, except we have Equality, which again, I have already swatched here. It's the very first one. Next to that is this beautiful blue color called Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is again the second swatch here. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and skip all the way back here to this picture, or to this picture. Wow, let's try that again. To this color here, which is blue velvet. So again, let's open her up. Now, pretty sure this is just like a, mm, I always get confused, honestly I do, and it's gonna be so funny if you know me. I get confused between royal blue and navy blue. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the, more along the lines of like a royal blue, something a little bit darker. Um, and again, look at that. Really, really gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm just gonna bring the swatch a little bit down. So again, not pretty perfect swatches, but the point is to see the color and the pigment and how it applies. And I can honestly say, not disappointed whatsoever. And I cannot wait to purchase more, seriously, like, oh my God. Okay, and the very last color that we have left to swatch is this purple called I'm Royalty. And that completes it for the Equality palette. I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside here while we swatch this very last one. So we're gonna go ahead and put it right next to the blue velvet. We're gonna see the differences here. Now this could just be because I'm not really doing it well. Again, that swatch was kind of messy. I don't think it's a product at all. Again, the product feels light, it feels airy. Doesn't feel like I have a whole bunch of things on my arm, it doesn't feel wet. Um, it they dried beautifully, like this beautiful, like silky matte color. Some of them do have some shimmer to it, at least it still appears so. Um, the pink for sure, Diva. And I believe that's it, at least from what I can tell. But again, absolutely gorgeous. So I am gonna go ahead and pause this video. I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, some eyebrows. And then as well the I think I am going to stick with the green, the Equality um, lipstick, just to complete the look, and then we'll see how it goes. So, be back shortly. Using the Equality lip color, this green right here, and I love it. I love the way it totally brought the look together, from the use of the Alien palette on my eyes, to even just using a colored eyebrow, which I've never done before, ever, in any of my looks. I've always stuck to pretty much my natural color. Um, and I am a sucker for a high arch. Ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that. We love the way that it came out. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous look. Um, <clears throat> looking at it all together, and I'm not wearing lashes either. These are just my natural short little rinky-dink lashes. Looking at it though all together, you're gonna laugh because the first word that comes to mind um, with a palette named Alien is otherworldly. I feel gorgeous, I feel beautiful, I feel like it just upped the beauty game and took the makeup skills to the next level. It was just something as simple as a color change of the eyebrow or even just that extra bold lip. It just takes that look one step further. And with something as pigmented as this and that stands out so beautifully like this, I just feel like you can't go wrong. So let's take a moment. And this is what I mean, guys. It just brings forth that inner beauty. And that's what makeup can do, honestly. Because let me tell you what, girl, no amount of concealer, no amount of primer or foundation can cover up an ugly attitude. So let's bring forth that inner beauty and let's step it up and bring it to the next level. So again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my review. Um, I really appreciate it. I look forward to showing you things, even if it's just a new product or a product you were wanting to try yourself, or maybe just by looking at color schemes, you maybe get the confidence to try it yourself. And that's what it's all about. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. So take care darlings and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.